Hi everyone, so today I've come to do a quick video, well I think it's going to be quick, I'm going to put together a single signature journal, I've done it before, people ask me all the time because my 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 themes have changed, my style's changed maybe, okay so I've gone ahead and picked my papers, these are printables, I have printed them, I use, um, oh, where is it, I'm just going to show you the papers that I use, um, Right, I think I used this. I think I used this one. I also got the other one, which is 120 GSM. Um, here in the UK, we call it GSM. I know in um, America and uh, even Canada, I think you say GSM. I've heard ladies say that. But we have it GSM here. I don't know what. There is conversion charts that you can find online if you want to go and do that I don't I'm not gonna <laughs> it's just that's and I'm using the navigator at the moment I do sometimes bounce between papers but this is what I'm using at the moment this is a presentation paper it's great to print on I have no problems I have a um a desk a HP desk desk something or other that I can't read the writing because it's over in the corner um and it's I use the um HP ink program um, and I don't have any problems with my printouts unless obviously my inks have run down. Right, so back to this. I printed them out. I coffee brushed them with coffee water that I have in a jar over there. And um, what's that? Sorry, I just had a little notification up. I'm waiting on something, I'm waiting to hear from somebody. Anyway, um, this, I think this is Artie Mays and this is Artie Mays from one of our kits if you want to know the specific kits then just ask in the description box and I will give you um, I think this is actually from her document kit this is from the old design shop this is a freebie on the blog this is from tailor-made journals that's not a freebie this is also from tailor-made journals so you can tell I'm going with a kind of document to feel to this journal this is from the old design shop from one of i think that's a french document french document kit this is from bohemian crafting this is from Artie Mays from the document kit and i've never used this page before i kind of like the look of that then i've got papers i've only got a few here i may add more um, i've got some lined coffee dyed paper and this is just copy paper which i have sprayed and let dry so you can see i've already folded them um, because I, I, I'm going to make these like TN size journals, okay? Right, so to start with, I'm going to find a paper that I am going to use. I might actually do these. Um, no, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so let me just move things out of the way so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Right, so you can measure if you like. I'm not going to, I'm just going to decide that that is what my width is of my journal is going to be and sorry if you can hear noises kids and all sorts out playing and the neighbors across the road every single night their parents come over their sisters their brothers all their kids it's like you know the whole squad is that <laughs> right so that's the kind of size uh, uh, that i want my journal and then here i'm just gonna oh i don't want that the same size so i'm just gonna Sorry, I'll do that a little bit better. So I'm just kind of gauging that about there. Like I said, you can do measurements if you want to, but I don't. Right, let's straighten that up a little bit. Okay, and then we will fold that back a little bit as well. And that has got another fold that can probably possibly go in like that. Um, actually saying that that's probably bigger, so that is now not going to be the big one but what i will do here is just measure that like that i just put a little crease in so i know where i am and then i fold it down and and then i'll fold that in like that Okay, I mean, I'm not necessarily doing it in this order, but I'm just saying, like, right, this, uh, I may 
yep I may actually just fold that in half and have it that way and I'll set that up there out of the way and then here I shall fold that up and that, that can be some pockets <clears throat> Go with that a little bit and I do find sometimes even when you fold things perfectly sometimes when you do these little pockets you have a little bit of a a bit here that you might need to trim off okay so that's that piece um, then we have that and I think again I'll just fold that you know like not quite in three but this could be a long video might do this in two parts one part being putting the signature together and then the second part is sewing it in so that i don't have to do all the editing and malarkey it takes ages it takes ages i do admire these ladies who are consistent with um craft with me's and let's makes and tutorials and process videos because i just i just you know i most of my journals are, uh, my videos are just showing you the journals that i've made i don't often have to do um i don't often do tutorials as such i do like craft with me but like tutorials or oh, all that stopping and starting and waiting and blah, blah. <laughs> it, i do admire those ladies for the patience they have of putting them all together and sitting editing them and then waiting for it to upload i personally find it a nightmare at times right so that's that mm, maybe that way just i just fiddle around with them until i kind of get what i like i get what i like right with these i folded them that way okay now i'm just gonna take i've got, got four of them so this being i've probably confused you know this being the big bit i am going to just measure that and use my ruler and trim off this part and i've got my big bin to the side of me where i throw everything i don't always make it into the bin sometimes the floor looks like a paper carpet right so that's that and then I'll do the same with the other two. I just fold them, make sure they're all in there nice and tightly. And these pieces that you cut off, you can use them for something else. You can use them for something else, um, like making little scrappy, like booklets, tablets, as some people call them. Um, right, so that's that. Let's get rid of these out of the way. Right now, if you notice, I still haven't done anything with that yet because I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Right, so that is that. Um, just having a little look here. Just playing around with the pages. I mean, I could actually fold some of them in and have it like that. Which actually, that's something I don't do often. But I'm doing it now. Um, let's do it with that as well. Oh, I've just found something new to do. <laughs> ah, that's interesting. Okay. And that, that away. Because I do like having little flips and flappy things around. Right, so this. <clears throat> um, let me think. Let me think. Let me put that in there. Um, right. Okay, so I'm just going to fold that. And I, these, um, like I said, this one in particular is from Artie Mays and it's from her document french document kit ah let's see i like that right and then this one here um 
forgot what I was saying. That one was from Artie Maisie's French document kit. And it's gone right out my head. It was, obviously wasn't anything important to tell you. Okay. So we'll put that in now. Shall we put... No, we'll put that that way because there's too many flippy fuck things that go in on now. And you can stagger that. So I can put that up there. Maybe put that one down and that one up. So we've got a little bit of a staggering going on, which that's something that I like. And then that. Yeah, I might just do this a little mini series because I think what I'm going to do as well is I am going to come back with a part two and adding some tipping pages to this probably just maybe two or three maybe four I don't know I'm just gonna go and have a look so I'll come back back I don't know where that came from I'll come back <laughs> um, I'll come back with a part two so this is just putting a signature of the actual papers together and the second part will be adding some tip ins and then I will sew it into a signature so a little maybe three four parter depends on how my mind because obviously you know I haven't planned this as such um I, I've only planned to do the video but you know you once you start doing things then other things well in my brain other things just like fall into place for me um so then i'll be oh okay i'll do this now and oh, i'll do that now now i to be honest i haven't done that kind of thing before i've done it the other way around but i don't normally do that so that's a new thing a new thing for me um so we've got journal pages there another little flippy there uh paper pockets already there two pieces of journal well coffee dough papers another pocket there flip there flip there right so i'm gonna go and dis oh i've trimmed that off oh no okay we haven't got a flip there i could have a silly me i could have thingy that in fact i'll come when i come back i'll show you what i'm going to do with that don't know why i just tore that off but never mind um little flip there and then that page and i flip there right so come back for part two